Hey everyone, Ryan Harris here uh, joining you today. Listen, I've had a lot of questions over the last few days as to how to create success in this environment of social media. And one specific question people ask me is, listen, I'm doing everything what I mean I'm being I'm doing everything that I'm taught to do, but I'm still not yielding the same results. So what I want to share with you, maybe you felt that way, and so what I'm going to address with you today is, is a key concept as far as putting together your social media strategy, and it's called positioning. Now, what does that look like? What does that mean? Positioning yourself on social media platforms. Now, recognize that there's a lot of different social media platforms out there, and that each platform that you're a part of needs to be a different story. So when you're on Instagram, for instance, it's all about pictures. The demographics are changing, and it's you know, it's mainly the, the stay-at-home moms and the, the moms out there that are loving to connect with people using pictures. So portray yourself according to that platform. Maybe it's a LinkedIn and, and you have a non-professional photo in your LinkedIn account. What you need to do is change that. Become make, make that your professional platform. Facebook is more friendly, open, so don't put too big, too much of a professional quote unquote picture there because you might uh, push Push people away from you simply because of that. Now, keep in mind that this is your positioning is key and critical because that's your first connection. That's the first time, your first touch with people that you've never talked to before. They're going to jump on your profile page, take a look at who you are and what you're doing, and your profile page, your positioning pages, will tell them whether they want to connect with you or not. So I'm going to give you three key indicators or three key tips to help you create that positioning. First and foremost, tell your story. Share with people who you are, what you do, how you do it. Uh, PickMonkey is a great website, www.pickmonkey.com, to create your banner. You can use Fiverr.com. I'll include those in the descriptions below. Two great websites to really start to tell your story. Pictures, uh, you know, tell people who you are, what you do, what you love, okay? Second tip, number two tip is the 80-20 rule. Gary Vaynerchuk in his book, Jab, 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 Right Hook, talks a lot about this, and he simply says 80% of what you push out there on social media needs to be lifestyle-oriented or lifestyle-related. So if on your social media page you have all about your business, all about your promotion, really everything and it's 80% business only 20% lifestyle you're not going to attract those type of people that you're looking to attract to you okay 80% lifestyle 20% business related post and mainly those business related posts are going to include you with other people you you doing the things that you'd love to do inside the context of your business third thing is create authentic content when it comes to that 80-20 rule, the content that you're pushing out on social media needs to be authentic. I'll share with you maybe a couple extra tips and tricks in our next little video here. But be authentic. The posts that you have can come from quotes from other people, but maybe include a little, a small little story in there. Or link them to your blog or your Facebook page or your uh, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, whatever account where it continues to tell that story to build that relationship with them. So, again, three tips. First thing is tell your story. Second thing is make sure you have in mind that 80-20 rule, 80% business posts versus 20% or 80% lifestyle, excuse me, versus the 20% business posts. And then third thing is create authentic content or native content to where people can connect with you authentic, authentically not or, or organically and not necessarily through a shared post or a shared information or a shared article or a shared video. Create some authentic stuff to where people can start to see you as an expert in what you do. So three tips, guys. Have a great day. Uh, I'll throw some information more down here on the, uh, on the description page. Listen, if you enjoy this content, feel free to subscribe to our video. Connect with me on Facebook. And uh, let's stay connected. Appreciate it. Have a great day, guys. And take care.